The task that I chose from the list of tasks was task 3. I chose this task because I like mathematical puzzles. I had to figure out how many triangles were in stage 0, stage 1 and stage 2. Then I had to find a relationship between the stage number and the total number of triangles. To begin with, I started to count triangles with one triangle per side, then two triangles per side, then three, and so on. So this is a stage four triangle. It has five triangles per side. So one, two, three, four, and five. It has 25 small triangles. So which are these ones? 13 of these ones, which are the two-sided ones. Six of these, which are the three-sided ones. Three of these, which are the four-sided ones. And one of these ones, which is the big one around, side, around the outside with five triangles per side. Which all is a total of 48. Now, I found that if you get the number of triangles per side, so there's five, and square that number, that equals the number of small triangles. So I've got 25 written there and 5 squared equals 25. So that works. So I'll just do another one. So if I have a triangle this big and there's 1, 2, 3, 4. There's 4 of the small triangles. There's 2 there. So 2, 2 squared equals 4 which is the same as that obviously and so that works. Now I also found that if you get the stage number so in this case it's stage 4 and multiply it by 1 less than itself so 4 times 3 then plus 1 gives you how many of these triangles are in the whole thing. The two sided triangles. So now there's 13 of them in the whole triangle because now all we have to do is add them up. So 4 times 3 equals 12 plus 1 equals 13. So that's right. Now I could do another one. If we have now we have this would be stage 1. 1 times 1 plus 1 equals 2. And there is Sorry, 1 times 0 plus 1 equals 1. And there's 1 around the outside. So that works for that one. Now I also found that in a lot of my answers there was this sequence. 1, 3, 6. So there would be 1 big one, 3 slightly smaller ones, and 6 slightly smaller ones. I googled this at www.mathematischerbastelain.de forward slash triangular number dot htm and they turned out to be triangular numbers. Now triangular numbers go up in a sequence of 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on. Now for the next one that I did I got the total number for the stage 5. Now, and I also found that with the triangular numbers back here, for example, if we had a triangle this big, then however many triangles per side you have, we have to use that many triangular numbers. So here there's 3, so we have to use the first 3 triangular numbers for the formula, which I can tell you later. So now, because we have the first the six, we have to use the first six triangular numbers, which are one, three, six, ten, fifteen, and twenty one. And if we add them up, we've got seventy eight, and if we add these up, we have fifty six. Now in between them, there's a difference of twenty two. Now all I have to do is make all the ways to make twenty two, like twenty one plus one, ten plus three plus three plus three, fifteen plus six plus three plus three, and so on. Now, for the formula, whoops, for the formula, I found that if I had a triangle this big, for example, not like that, if I had a triangle this big, now because there's 
three triangles per side, I have to use the first three. So because it's four triangles per side, I have to use the first four triangular numbers, which are one, three, six, and ten. Now I found that to get the formula, which here there's a total of uh, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's a total of 27 in here. I'm pretty sure. And now I found that we get the biggest number, which is 10, then get a double number. So 10, 6, 6, then number, then a double number. And so now we I just have to add these up. So there's 12, 15, 16, 17, 27. So that formula works. Now I'll do another one, but a bigger version of a triangle. So now we have here, which is a stage four triangle with a total of. Oops, I'll do that one again. So here there is a total of. Uh, there's a total of 78 in this. So. Pretty sure. Yep. Now, now that we have a triangle, which isn't very good, but it'll do. So we have five triangles per side. So we have to use the first five triangular numbers. So there's one, three, six, ten, fifteen, and twenty. Yeah, that's right. There's the first five. Now we get fifteen, which is because it's the biggest. Then a double number. Ten, ten then 6, then 3, then 3, then 1. And so for there, yep, there's, sorry, there's a total of 48 in here. Now, I just need to add these up, and we should get 48. And so that formula works. Thank you for watching, and there's my formula.